I, I would love to get something like that. The thing I tell people to move into New York, it takes a, it takes a long time to find your community. My, my family used to teach me, they say you have no friends, all you do is lay in the house watching those movies with my mom. And she was so good, and I was like, I wonder if she knows how good she was at picking these fucking amazing independent films from the blockbuster section. And they were tapes, they weren't DVDs yet. Shout out to my mom, Teresa. Just my luck, I leave my goddamn work laptop. But I'm good to go. E-bike, 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 boom. So if I was anyone, I would only make documentaries that follow one subject because that's easier to track. I'm following four people right now. Mars Scorsese, he, he said something like, um, movies are live. They're just live. I, 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 I really feel the same way, you know. I make films with my friends. My life as a movie is about me making films with my friends. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's not too bad. Let my, let my eyes pop. I have a couple of ideas I've written down, this, especially this um, project that is very dear to my heart it's about this immigrant woman who is in an abusive relationship. But I haven't like really paid attention to that for a while because I have to hustle, you know, I have to pay my bills and take care of myself. I was applying for the Queen Collective grant and I sent a note to a friend of mine. I said, hey, you know, I'm applying. I want to see what your thing looks like. And she just sent me a deck. Like that's the generosity that we need so that we can continue moving forward. This whole thing like, oh no, I made it through. You should just work and figure it out yourself situation. It's cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Everybody, everybody. Release the, release the, release the, release the trade, release the stress. Forget the rest. And we back outside. You said you outside, but you ain't that outside. Wear a wild hoodie with the mess outside. I wasn't making enough to take care of myself, and, and but I really, I, w I tried really hard to make sure that even if I was gonna get a job and like do this on the side, it had to be something close to something creative, you know? It couldn't be anything like totally outside of film. To make a living, I mostly make videos for corporates, commercial, not the most interesting work. <laughs> but yeah, that's how I make a living. But I mean, it's still nice to to make a living with your skill set. Yeah, it's uh, not always enjoyable, but I, I don't regret doing it. Our life is movie. My life is a fucking movie. And it's like, you know, I, I am the director. Sometimes I'm not. Sometimes somebody else is directing. This is the part of the movie where my corporate job is directing. I don't like that. I'm producing, but I'm not directing. You know. Yeah, I mean, I've worked in corporate since 2009. That has been the way how I sustain myself as I make independent projects. As a filmmaker or artist, there's always this conflict. Like, you are in the system. Capitalism, patriarchy. Patriarchy is another system. You don't want to be a part of the system, but you need to, to make a living. It is temporary. I gave it 24 months. I told myself, 24 months, I'm going to save money. I'm gonna keep writing this script. We here. We 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 about to we about to get it. Y'all ready? We're back on. I always feel like I live in a I'm, I'm living a movie. <laughs> Life is a cinema, you know. The these feelings, especially for example, maybe you're biking one day and you think about your childhood and it just your past life and what you're doing right now and that feeling to me is is very cinematic. <laughs>